you're in for a treat because our youth will be leading you in worship this afternoon. So let's uh, let us rise. And then he's going to play. Oh, God, I can't sing. <laughs> Dale, take us away. <laughs> Rejoice, rejoice, O Christians, lift up your voice and sing. Alleluia, Christ is risen.
The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O oh God, you have prepared for those who love you such good things as surpass our understanding. Pour into our hearts such love towards you that we, loving you in all things and above all things, may obtain your promises, which exceed all that we desire. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second book of Kings. He also took up the coat of Elijah that had fallen from him, and he went back <clears throat> and stood on the bank of the Jordan. Then he took the coat of Elijah that had fallen from him and struck the waters and said, Where is the Lord, the God of Elijah? And when he also had struck the waters, they were divided here and there. And Elisha crossed over. Now, when the sons of the prophets saw who were at Jericho, opposite him saw him, they said, the spirit of Elijah has, a, has settled on Elisha. And they came to meet him and bowed down to the ground before him. The word of the Lord. I read Psalm 93. The Lord is king. He has put on splendid apparel. The Lord has put on his apparel and girded himself with strength. He has made the whole world so sure that it cannot be moved. Ever since the world began, your throne has been established. You are from everlasting. The waters have lifted up, O Lord. Mightier than the sound of many waters, mightier than the breakers of the sea. Mightier is the Lord who dwells on high. Your testimonies are very sure. And holiness adorns your house, O Lord, forever and forevermore. Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Glory to you, Lord Christ. Then he said again to them, I am going away, and you will look for me, and will die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot go. So the Jews were saying, Surely he will not kill himself. Will he? Since he says, where I am going, you cannot come. And he was saying to them, you are from below. I am from above. You are of this world. I am not of this world. 
Therefore, I said to you that you will not die in your sins, for unless you believe that I am, you will die in your sins. Then they were saying to him, Who are you? Jesus said to them, What have <clears throat> I'm sorry, what have I even been saying to you from the beginning? I have many things to say and not to judge regarding you, but he who sent me is true. And the things which I heard from him, these I say to the world. They did not realize that he was speaking to them about the Father. So Jesus said, when you lift up the Son of Man, then you will know that I am doing nothing on my own. But I say these things as the Father instructed me. And he sent me in with me. He has not left me alone, for I always do the things that are pleasing to him. He said these things, many came to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Let us profess our faith. We believe in one God, the Father and the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen, we believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten from not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit. He became incarnate by the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake he was crucified and under Pontius Pilate, suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rode again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We will believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, and the Father and the Son, he was worshipped and glorified, and he is spoken through the prophets. We believe in the Holy, Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, who heard us the faithful for the forgiveness of sins, and we will look for the resurrection of the dead in the life of the world to come. Amen. Wise and loving God, you have created and still are creating a world rich with difference and diversity. You have created all people in your image, each expressing their being and living their life in valid, special, special relationships with you. For all this, we give you the praise. For hysterical Historical acts of injustice and oppression perpetrated against Aboriginal communities, Black, LGBTQ, and various Asian and Hispanic communities in this abundant land of the First Nations. Forgive us, merciful God. For the times we have failed to recognize injustice in ourselves, in our church, in our society, and the times we failed to take actions. Forgive us, long-suffering God. For the complicity in the systems of privilege and power over those whose skin, color, culture, or creed differ from those of the majority, even today. Forgive us, compassionate God. Grant us courage to insist on equal treatment of all persons and groups, including ourselves, if oppressed, even at the risk of being unpopular or misunderstood. We beseech you, God of justice. Grant us patience in enduring periods of non-action, persistence in resisting the evil of racial oppression, and faithfulness in working towards justice among your people, in the church and in the world. We beseech you, God of hope. And grant us humility and wisdom to discern what it is your spirit must come to accomplish 
that which human beings in groups cannot. We pray in the name of Jesus, himself, the bread of justice, and the cup of solidarity. Amen. Amen. And we're a church of flexibility, if I read <laughs> the rubrics. <laughs> you know, let's sing the third verse, yes. Rejoice, rejoice, O Christians, lift up your voice and sing. Eternal hallelujah to Jesus Christ, a King, the hope of all who seek Him, the help of all who find. None other is so loving, so good and kind. He lives, He lives, Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me and talks with me along life's narrow way. He lives, He lives, salvation to impart. Who asks me how I know He lives? He within my heart. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. 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 Paula, you want? See, incorporate your youth in worship. They know how to lead. Yes, thank you. <laughs>